Hello friends. Today I want to show uh, some features of control panels on Windows 10. First, I will show how you can go to control panels. Just go to search box and type a control panel, and you will see the command of your control panel. Here, lot of options you can see: administrator tools, internet option, flash player, display programming features all features we cannot say about or some feature we can discuss about here one administrator tool where you can see lot of configuration like computer management component services disk cleanup and even we are disk cleanup features where you can clean up your disk you click ok then and you can select a drive we drive we want to clean as I am selecting the T drive, it will go uh, uh, clean up the system files and click on OK. Then your disk will be clean. This is event viewer. Event viewer is also very uh, good things to know about application error, security error, system error, and setup errors, and lot of other options is available to check it. So, from control panel, you can go to uh, you, you could know many things about that and here you can see the configuration of Dynamics AX ODBC here like uh, uh, you want to create a connection DSN data source connection then you can use the DSN feature you can find ODBC connection in control panel easily And performance monitor where you can monitor your performance of your application how much it last how, what is the average speed what is minimum what is maximum of your computer so you can go in details performance management management a task scheduler, Windows Firewall, you can get is your administrator tool. Here in Firewall, you can give inbound, outbound rule. Like if you want to allow any port, then you can create new rule. Here a lot of options is there. Whether you want to any port enable in your firewall, then you can give your port number. Then you need to finish the wizard. Same with outbound, outbound rules you can define a different different port, different different program and Windows memory diagnostic. Here you can see. One is program and features. Internet options. You can check what are the options you need to tick and untick, and then click on OK. Then it will be reset. If you are facing any problem in your Internet Explorer, then you can click on Reset to reset the default setting of your Internet Explorer. Yes, yeah, security. If you want to aid your site as trusted site, then just give your URL and click add. Yes, yeah, security levels either you can give medium, high, or low as per your requirement. You can see connection, you can set your LAN setting for any IP for internet connectivity. And these are the advanced options for internet options. And then mouse. Here you can enable, disable your touchpad. You can update hardware. You can see properties of your mouse. 
you can get driver details pointers what is speed is set you can set it customize your mouse as per property but it should be okay if you feel. keep is a default program and features is also very good place to know about here you can see how much program how many programs are installed in your system if you want to uninstall any program then just right click and click on uninstall then the program will be uninstalled from your system if you want to check the updates order update install your windows then you can go to install update and you check which date which update is installed security update for your windows kb information etc etc yeah from here also you can get you can check which firewall is on which is off like here this is guest private public network is connected rest is not connected you can check your firewall setting and here it will, you could know inbound outbound rules one is user account option is you can also check your user account like here is change uc control setting this is also a very important feature it helps you user account control helps you to prevent potentially harmful program from making changes to your computers but sometimes this you need to disable for working on your SSRS reports deploying your reports so that time you need to make it lower and if you are not using the reporting property then you need to keep it as medium you can see your date and time features in control panel you can see you want to change your time zone you can change it from here and if you want to change the date and time then just you change calendar settings if you want to change the formats and you can see lot of format of sort date format mmddyy mdyyy is month days and year format and whatever you want to make a long format you can set it you can set, see your time format currency symbol numbers default numbers settings and location here's system locale a system locale is nothing but uh, it controls the language used when displaying the text program that do not support the unicode here it's set currently english united state you can check see language list from here and this is a taskbar and navigation and 
you can check default program you can check your fonts and control panel what are fonts installed if any fonts are not found then you can paste your fonts and restart the computer then that fonts will work for you here you can see power option here it says balance other option is power saver higher power performance etc etc if you, you also can get sound settings from here play, play with speakers recording options sounds and communications it is a network sharing center you can change your adapter setting This is a files and folder options. Here, this is if you are not have any hidden files in your folders, then you can go to so hidden files and folder option. Then you able to see your hidden files in your system. devices and printer you can check by using devices printer option keyboard properties you can see from your keyboard <laughs> these are the some major properties of control panel you see here and is task manager here you can see whatever current program process is running your in your task manager or the performance of cpu or how much memory in your system disk utilization ethernet bluetooth wifi and here you can check details how much memory is utilizing which process as per current running program you can see it's changing as per requirement of memory here services which services you want to stop which services are running you can sorting it you can sort it you can stop start services from here these are the major things which i shown you in your windows control panels control panel is very important part of your windows system and i hope you get some idea about control panel how to operate it what are the will properties control panels these are important properties i hope you like my videos and if you like it if it, my channel is providing a la, uh, learning my channel provides the learning then you please subscribe it and thanks for watching and keep patience watching this clip thank you very much